guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your Wawa Girl here. So, for those of you that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, I did a video on Ashton Point Apartments um, because my daughter got a letter stating that they are taking $705 out of her security deposit. One, she's a first time renter. That's why her security deposit was $1,243. Now, um, this gentleman that she dealt with, Raphael, apparently knew she moved out on the 30th. She held the key because she works nights, da da da, and wanted to make sure to do a sweep. Because, you know, sometimes, like, the cabinets over the fridge or wherever it is, you forget stuff. Wanted to make sure everything was completely out. Plus, she had to vacuum, things like that. Um, regardless of whatever, he charged her $270 for prorated rent. From the first to the seventh. Fine. I get that. Then on top of it, charges her a hundred dollar late fee. But he knew the apartment was empty since the 30th. He knew maybe he didn't know she works nights, but regardless of whatever. Okay, I can understand the rent charge. Yeah, fine. But another hundred dollars. So that's $370 already from her security deposit. Now, deep clean of the kitchen because there was grease in the oven. Now, coming from a West Indian background, I was always raised like, and that's any house you go into, move into, you put foil on the bottom of the um, thing. If you can't find those foil pads, um, they used to sell them. I'm not sure if there's, they still are. I just get like uh, by the long roller foil, which is easier to take in and out than going out, have to get another pan, blah, 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 whatever. So I lined um, that stove myself, so that I know. And she has changed it periodically, but she doesn't cook anyway. She, what she does is bake those pizzas or like pizza rolls. And the pizza she does put on the, the grill so that she can get a hard, you know, hard enough crust. Anybody that knows that, that makes pizza. So anyway. Hello? Can you stop? Hey, 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 hey. I'm talking to you. Um, so she's being charged $75 for grease. The kitchen was immaculate because she brought food home every day. Or when she woke up, when she gets off 7 o'clock, 7.30 in the morning, by the time she gets in her bed, and she'll either make some ramen noodles. So she also got charged $20 for drip pans, which was like that before we moved in. So I'm going to give you a few tips if you decide to move into Ashton Point Apartments. Don't cook. Before you walk through the door every day, don't ever touch the walls. Don't hang any pictures. Okay, don't hang any pictures. You want to look at your family, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your mother, your sister, anybody. Open an album, okay? Don't put any furniture on the wall. Don't touch the walls. Tell your children to stay still in the apartment. Don't run. Especially you don't run into the wall. God forbid they got like grease from their forehead on the wall. Um, just don't touch anything in the apartment. Just your bed, your toothbrush, um, try not to cook at all. Like, just don't even go into the kitchen, okay? She's being charged $180 for paint because she had six pinholes from these holding pictures. You know why I got some? so much because she does it here and this is exactly what she used when she moved out pinholes not even nails not even nails okay these and because what did he say there were scuffs scuffs on in the living room I guess, you know, the bottom of the wall, because, like, when you walk in, and to your right, it's, like, a wall. Then you got that little corner that goes like this for the solarium. 
and it's um, two big windows. So apparently on the bottom there were scuffs. Normal wear and tear. Okay. Oh, let me put that back. A hundred and eighty dollars. That could have been covered. It didn't even have to be covered with compound. Just clean. But like he said, he has a family to feed and he's got bills to pay. So apparently, maybe he needs some of that dough. Stop it. Who's back? Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Interior door repair. So apparently, there was something wrong with one of the doors. I thought it was the door that Jessica knew that couldn't close. But he said no. Um, I think it was the master bedroom door. It had some damage to it. So she's being charged for $60. And for the sink that had hair dye in it that he tried to get out, which is bullshit. He wouldn't touch it. Um, that maintenance tried to get out. I'm pretty sure if I go right now and knock on that apartment door, it's gone. You know why? You know what takes out dye? Q-Tex. But that's what he said. Countertop repair. I'm not sure what, what that what he said that countertop was. Either the countertop or the sink or something had um had dye. I think it was the countertop. But either way, um they have acetone and all that stuff that takes out dye. And and if she used anything in her hair, it's not gonna be permanent. So that's all bull. They just want to eat up her security deposit. Okay. So that total, 270 for a prorated rent that they never told her about. And he even, um, it's on tape that he knew she moved out since the 30th. But he still charged her rent till she he she physically gave over the key. Knowing the apartment was empty. Um, a late charge of $100, which was totally unfair knowing that she moved out since the 30th okay um but as a young renter and someone that's young and naive and don't know any better this is what they do so he knew what his intent was um drip pants she's got to pay for she has to pay for drip pants they were already screwed up when we got in there and all you have to do is, is, is it was boiling water stick it in the sink with some soap It'll come right off. So she has to pay $20 for that. And they cost like what? $1.99 the most? And then if you go to the dollar store, you get it for a dollar. And it felt like that's what they use anyway. Full paint of $180 for six pinholes in the walls. And for some scuffs that he even considered would be normal wear and tear. But Danielle from corporate told him... That no, she needs to pay almost $200 for those pinholes. So you can imagine how much that is a pinhole. Countertop, interior door repair, and sink. $60 for a dab of hair dye that he could not remove. Guys, what can I tell you? All I can tell you is listen to the recording yourself. It comes out of the horse's mouth himself, okay? What he would consider, yeah, it's for me, it's normal wear and tear. But for Daniel, no. Daniel wants to suck the life out of that security deposit. So we're gonna listen to this video. The one space.
advancing, they can override that and suck in there. Okay? Now, as far as Caribbean for a second moment, and, uh, you know, what, Rich, I, I understand it. But the thing is, we try to go ahead and explain it as best as we can, and it's in the lease. That's why everybody gets a copy of their lease. Okay? Her state law, if your lease ends on the 30th, but you're out of the 15th, you are still responsible until, you know, until you're responsible until the next you were there. Okay? After that, it's because there's a termination fee or things like that. But, right, so we're off, you know, we're off. if you don't have keys, it doesn't matter when they, they left. Right. You know, keys are in charge of doing your actions. Right, I understand that. But I've seen a young child in front of your face be like, hey, what? Um, I understand you guys are moving out, you're not on lease, and things like that. But their primary reason of moving out was because they're having problems with their air conditioning. They asked if they can get another unit, they were told no. Okay, if there's no problem with the air conditioning, I understand that, I understand that. But to say, well, hey, you know what? As long as you hold on to the key, we'll, we'll be a good. Because if Jake works nights, so if I didn't get next to take out. You're responsible for renting two units. She told me, no, nobody told her that. Well, what's a little she reminder? spoke to someone. Sound like Sharon, sound like somebody knew and was trying to figure out what the two hundred seventy dollar charge was for. But okay, come on, you see the apartment's empty and they're moving out. Why well, try to eat up her deposit by charging a hundred dollars late fee? I have to do my 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 partner. We did not she gave us very little notice. She goes very very few weeks. We require sixty days. Oh, okay. Okay, so I did what I could. I'm like, okay, are we getting paid 
for are we are we having cash for things that were Now the rent depends. One hundred eight dollars. Okay. So guys, what do you think about that? What he would consider normal wear and tear, Ms. Danielle from corporate said no. They have to pay for those scuffs along the wall, which I'm telling you, maybe her foot passed because I used to go over there um, with her sister. We'd all play Monopoly, things like that, sit on the floor. We're not all going to fit on a day bed. And, um, scuffs, scuffs, scuffs. Do you know what a scuff is? But see, this is how they get over you. This is what they do. I mean, if you look at those pictures, there's no holes in the walls. There's no different color paint. There's no scratches on the walls. There are pinholes from these. So my advice to you, if you could avoid moving into Ashton Point, don't do it. Because everything could seem like fine, hunky-dory. But and, and let me tell you something. If that air conditioner goes out, um, I was there for Hurricane Dorian. Because where I live, I'm closer to the water. And, you know, just in case the storm surge or whatever that was. The air conditioning broke down. The office had just closed up and um, we had to call maintenance. Maintenance said they are not coming out to fix it because they will not get paid. What kind of... I, I really have a headache. Like, just to hear some bullshit like that. Do you know how hot it is in Florida? Do you know how hot it was during that hurricane? Anyway, pinholes. If you move there, do not touch the walls. I beg you, do not touch the walls. As soon as you walk in, walk through or not, you take a picture of who's ever walking you through there so you have everything noted, okay? Eat out every day, don't cook. Take a picture of the burners, take a picture of the oven, take a picture of the refrigerator. If there's even as much as, you know, the little thing that flips down for the butter dish, take a picture of it's missing, take a picture of everything, every room, the walls, the little washer and dryer area, the floor, take a picture of the toilet, go behind the toilet, take a picture of the shower curtains. Did they have shower? I don't think they had a, a curtain rod in there. No, there's no curtain rod in there. You have to buy your own curtain rod. Um, take a picture of under the hood in the kitchen because there's no light there. Just in case they try to um, tell you you got to pay $50 for a light bulb to replace in the um, thing. Okay? And make sure you print out all those pictures of every little shit, every little thing that's in that from the door. Outside the door, behind the door. On the floor, under the, the little bar area that they have where you put like two stools. Whatever it is, take pictures and, and um, attach it to a little piece of paper and make sure you go over there and somebody looks at everything and sign each page. Have them sign each page. This is what, this is what, this is what, this is what, this is my apartment. This is the, what you gave me. This is what, because so, you don't want to hear nothing. Okay, don't put any pictures on the walls. Don't put any decorations on the walls. Um, 
like I said, if you have kids, tell your kids, do not touch the walls. Don't play in the apartment. Don't do anything. Matter of fact, if you can't saran wrap it, like, tape some, like, saran wrap or, or something like plastic to cover the walls. Because you will be charged $180 if you touch the wall like this. God forbid your fingerprint or some, any grease from your hair or... Um, Anything like that, you will be charged, okay? Let me read you this, and then I'm going to go. Examples of normal wear and tear. Paint on the walls of an apartment will fade and get dirty over time. Get dirty over time. This is naturally occurring condition which isn't caused by a tenant. As part of ordinary maintenance, a landlord should freshen up an apartment with a new coat of paint every time a new tenant occupies the premises. In addition, carpets fade and tear over time. Flat, worn, or discolored carpet does not mean that the tenant actively damaged the apartment. Rugs don't last forever. Other instances of normal wear and tear. Rust in an oven. Grease. Interior doors not properly closing. Toilets leaking. Loose grouting and bathroom tiles. Vinyl flooring worn thin. Worn countertops. Loose hinges or door handles, rusty shower, um, rods, drains, and tubs, dirty or faded lamps, window shades, pinholes in the wall where picture frames were hung. That was number 11, okay? 1 through 11 that I just read to you. Pinholes in the wall where picture frames were hung. And my child is being charged $180 for those pinholes. So guys, my advice to you is not to move there. And, and you know what's the worst part about it? The front may look nice because that's what everybody's seeing and they want people to come there. But let them take you around the back. Okay, the back is, it always smells. The garbage area is never closed properly, so you get all that stench from the garbage. Um, they don't blow back there. It's There's like a hundred million trees back there, and it, the grass, there's just barely any grass back there, like surrounding the apartments, and it, it's, it's just disgusting. It, and, and that you find out, like, after. Because usually they show you, like, a upfront apartment so you don't walk around the entire complex and see what's back there. But, yeah. And he mentioned, well, obviously, I didn't see anything wrong with that because it's not your fucking money. That's why. But I promise you, if you moved into an apartment complex and they were charging you $180 for pinholes in the walls, yeah, you would see a big fucking problem with that. Okay, just because my daughter's young doesn't mean she doesn't work hard for her fucking money. Okay, she has to eat, she has a car payment, and she did have rent. So before you sit there and talk about, oh, I need to feed my family, everybody needs to feed their family. And everybody has bills to pay, not just Raphael. Okay, and Daniel, I don't know if you're lining your pockets with this money. But that's an outrageous charge of $180. Or maybe Raphael is getting a cut in on this. I mean, please explain to me how could six pinholes and some scuff wear and tear, okay, equals up to $180? That's all I want to know. Like, I'm just not understanding. And $75 for grease. Either way, when a tenant moves out, an apartment complex needs to put a fresh coat of paint, clean the bathrooms, make sure they're white, the tubs are white, make sure there's no shit in the toilets, make sure in and out of the toilets are cleaned, and the sink, there's nobody here or anything in there or spit. Clean the kitchen and <laughs> shampoo the carpets because everywhere that I know, 
calls out Stanley, Stanley Steamers to clean the carpet. So you want to charge people $180 to hang pictures. So guys, keep this in mind when you're going to Ashton Point Apartments. If you touch the walls, you will be charged $180 for paint. Now that was a two bedroom. I don't know what you'll be charged for a three or a four bedroom. I, I'm i guessing it'll probably be about two to $300. So keep that in mind. Um, you see it right here with your own eyes. This is, here, I'm gonna let you edit everything. Here it is. You see Ashton Point Apartments right there. $1,200 deposit. These are all the charges right here. $180 for pinholes, guys. $180 for pinholes in the wall. $100 lay fee. And you heard him. He said, yes, she's been out since the 30th. Right. But he kept his mouth shut. He knew what his intent was going to be because she's young. To charge her for the prorated rent and hit her with that late fee. Rather than to say when he spoke to her on the phone. As a reminder, Jamie, remember, you're already paid for the month of September. And maybe you don't know this, but you will be accruing rent every day going into the next month. Until you hand back the key. Well, damn, you would have had that key October 1st and could have pay, just paid um, whatever day that was. But no, he knew what his tent was because he has to feed his family. So maybe the $100 is going to his pocket. I don't know how they worked that out. But either way, guys, um, I'll see you in my next video. Um, later tonight, I am going to upload all the pictures just to show you what she's being charged $180 for. All right, guys, remember, wear your mask out there. Nobody gives a shit. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.